My name is Kathy McGovern. I'm from Kensington, which I love. My name is Zena Williams. I am motivational. I'm a mother and a grandmother, and I enjoy all of my roles in my life right now. Hi, my name is Royale. I am Maria Tanzak, a.k.a. Maria Tanchak. My name is Eileen Zawacki. I the youngest of 13. My name is Kathy McGovern. I'm from Kensington. Oh, I can actually, well, I lived here all my life, in different parts of Philadelphia. And then we moved over to Kensington Avenue when my mother got her business. She had eight children and she had to feed us, and my dad was laid off from a steel mill. So she bought a business with a house and a store. I learned about the Lutheran Settlement House when my husband was very ill and uh, I needed assistance. That was about 22 years ago. I was not an active member at that time because I worked. When I started coming here, it's been two years now, and I come to exercise and I take part in the activities that they have here. Um, I exercise um, three times a week. Actually, I've been a part of Lutheran for about four years. And I didn't join it right away because I didn't think I was old. <laughs> well, the first day that I walked in, I saw my cousin. And right away, she invited me over to sit at the table with her and her friends. And I had fun. So I came back. Well, the, the activities here, um, there's I do senior fitness. I do yoga. They have a cooking class. I do crocheting. There's a lot of arts, art, artsy classes that they have. They have a lot of socials. You know, they do um, karaoke. They do. I graduated from Simon Gratz in '82. Well, I I grew up during the war, so all my brothers and all my family served in the Second World War. After the war, in about 1945, we moved to Palmer Street, where where I was raised, and I lived till I got married. My father died when I was about, about between eight and 11, and my mother died when I turned 16. My mom and dad both were cleaners, so they cleaned office buildings. That's really what they did. They didn't have the education to do anything else, and they had, there were eight of us all together. You know, it was more a matter of providing for everybody. The best moment of my life is when I watched my youngest son graduate from college. Yeah. He has a master's degree in psychology. And he plays professional football. Uh, I want to be remembered by helping people. I really go out my way to try to help people. Uh, where I live at, it's a lot of homeless people. And I try to do small things. I try to do something good every day. So we had a teacher there that actually taught us, my brother and I, how to speak English. It took time and, you know, it, it can be tough when you're a kid. And then we had to teach our parents because my parents didn't understand anything. I ended up having to do all the interpretation for my parents. Like every time they went somewhere, did anything, I was always dragged along so I can interpret. I was administrative assistant. I worked at the Sugar House. I worked there for a few years. I worked for PNC Bank for over 20 years. Oh, it was great. I worked for wonderful people. I worked with wonderful people also, yes. Oh, it was great. I worked for wonderful people. I worked with wonderful people also, yes. I, uh, I was careful and come out and uh, I see, no, it's okay. Uh, not, uh, I hear Philadelphia is danger, Kensington is danger, no, it's good. And everybody I see say hi. Uh, after uh, two months, uh, I moved to Philadelphia. I started uh, work uh, in Lutheran Settlement House, actually uh, 14 November 23. One of the first challenges was language. And that was my first challenge. Um, and I think it was just, I was determined to, to learn the language. Do you know what I mean? The funniest thing was my mom went with me. So my mom spoke very broken English, and when we got there, they thought my mom was the one that was applying, and not me, because I spoke perfect English. Only me. Only English. Only English. Yeah. Only English. <laughs> it's a big challenge for me. Yeah. yeah. And you know what other accomplishment I did? I bought my own house, by myself, without help from anybody. 
um, just don't give up on yourself. You know, I, times things can look really, really bad and you think that there's no one out there that you just have to really focus, get your inner strength, get your inner thoughts together and just really just do. So right after I bought my house, I got laid off. I want to be remembered as me. I am a strong woman. I fight all the life with uh, everything. That I was always a caring, loving, happy-go-lucky person. So my advice to, to young people today would be, um, whatever you do, first of all, before anything else, get an education. Never give up, give up. If the life is hard, you fight with life. Goals, you don't always meet them, but just keep giving yourself a new goal. If something doesn't work, try something new. Just don't give up for one thing. Just, you know what? Live a good life, be kind, and love your family. <laughs> Peace, love, and happiness to everybody. <laughs> I want to be remembered as me. I am a strong woman. I fight all the life with uh, everything. Enjoy your youth. Enjoy your old age, too. <laughs> really, okay? <laughs>